I don't know you, but there's a 92% chance you are fast aerialing wrong. How do I know this? Well, in my recent Grand Champ 2v2 speed run, everyone I played was fast aerialing wrong. And I know 92% of you watching are below Grand Champ. So today I'm going over six different ways you are probably messing this mechanic up. And I'll give you a step-by-step -step with the actual correct order that nobody seems to know how to do at the end. Also, if you're currently between the plat and champ, ranks our coaching partner the grand champ boot camp currently has just 28 spots remaining for coaching which means they'll probably be sold out again within the first week after this video drops if you don't know what i'm talking about the gcb is rocket league's largest premier training boot camp with over 3,000 members that takes plats diamonds and champs up to grand champ in just 12 weeks to qualify, you must be platinum ranked online, have at least 200 logged hours, and be on PC to do the coaching. So if you want a community that takes ranking up as seriously as you do, DM their Discord account with the keyword FAST to get it now before they sell out. We'll have their Discord account first link below. That's keyword FAST for coaching. Enjoy the video. Okay, the six ways you could be fast airling wrong are backflipping, not maxing out your first jump, double jumping, basically just not tilting back in the right order, pulling down your joystick after you jump, not completing the aerial, and then not boosting throughout. Let's break down each one step by step in order so you can get this right. The first mistake you might be making is backflipping, which obviously doesn't look like a fast aerial because you backflip. It's not 100% your fault because there's a setting that can actually fix it. There's a setting called dodge dead zone. And what dodge dead zone does is it controls the distance you need to push your joystick in a direction before a flip is registered. So for example, dodge dead zone of one means you have to max it out vertically in order to front flip. Whereas a dodge dead zone of 0 0.01 means you just have to move it 1% of the way to true north for the game to register a front flip when you flip. So as you can imagine, if you have a dodge dead zone that's too low, you might accidentally backflip instead of empty jump when you're trying to fast aerial. So if you have the problem of backflipping, that means the easy fix is to just increase your controller dead zone. I personally use a controller dead zone of anywhere from 0.4 to 0.6. Honestly, I can't notice the difference. But if you're a newer player, I've heard it's good to start out higher and work your way down as you rank up. Give 0.8 a try and work down from there if you're having trouble backflipping. Mistake number two is not not maxing out your first jump. If you didn't know, you actually have to hold down your jump button for 200 milliseconds or one fifth of a second to get the max jump height. If you're just tapping your jump button twice to fast aerial, you're not doing it right. And you're going to get dunked by players in your games who know how to do it the right way. Plus, as a little bonus, the longer you hold your first jump, the longer you'll have your second. I'll have Halfway Dead's video linked on screen if you want to nerd out about this. While holding down the jump button, there's a force active that pulls the car in the direction of its roof, as can be seen from these examples. But point is, hold jump for one fifth of a second to max height on your fast aerials. If you don't, you're going to be slow. Mistake number three is double jumping. In other words, not tilting back immediately. On the left, I'm going to show you what it looks like when somebody tries to double jump on their fast aerial. This isn't wrong because they're not holding down their jump long enough. It's just slightly slower because the order is wrong. On the right side of the screen, I'm going to show you somebody fast aerialing, but instead of double jumping, they jump tilt back and then use their second jump. The reason jump tilt jump is better than just jump jump tilt is because it allows your boost to start propelling you up sooner and therefore for a longer total duration over the course of your fast aerial. Remember this, fast aerials are not double jumps. Do this right and your fast aerial will be quicker than 90% of players below Grand Champ guaranteed. Mistake number four, pulling joystick down after your first jump, the fire burner method. So I'm pulling down my analog stick, right? This is most important. Pulling down an analog stick and then you jump and boost at the exact same time, right? So like something like that. Since the goal with the fast aerial is to get airborne as quick as possible, if there is any amount of time where you're jumping but not pulling your joystick down immediately, you're not going to gain height as quick as somebody who starts tilting their nose up immediately after they jump. The pro player who popularized this method was Fireburner. He's denied. Still on the goal line. Fire! Oh, you put him in! And while you don't have to do this to fast aerial, I recommend you use the Fireburner method. 
here's what it is. The fire burner method says instead of jumping and then tilting down after you jump, fire burner recommends you pull your joystick down before you jump. All this does is it makes sure that from the second your car becomes airborne, you're going to start tilting back immediately. This method guarantees you're getting a perfect fast aerial every time. So try this before your next fast aerial and your fast aerial might get a whole lot faster or you might just backflip using this method, in which case you don't have to do it, but give it a shot. Mistake number five, not tilting back at the end, AKA finishing the fast aerial. If you're trying to climb to hit a ball that's directly overhead and you just want to, for example, get to the ceiling as fast as possible and you don't care how far forward you fly, there's one last step that you need to do and that's finishing the aerial. Let me show you what I mean. On the left side of the screen, I'm going to show somebody jumping, tilting back, jumping, and then flying forward. What you'll notice is this person gets to the ceiling fast, but they also end up really far out in front from where they started. Now, if you're trying to hit a ball in front of you, that's totally fine and great. But if you're somebody who undershoots your aerials a lot, or you just want to get to the ceiling faster, then what you should do instead is this aerial on the right. You jump, tilt back, jump again, and then tilt back once more. So it's jump, tilt, jump, tilt in that order. Well, technically, if you're doing the fire burn method, it's tilt, jump, tilt, jump, tilt. So three tilts, two jumps. Does that make sense? If I'm overcomplicating this, don't listen to me. Just look at the screen. Point is, if you want to fly vertical as quick as possible, you need to be pulling down on your joystick for the entire fast aerial until your nose is directly facing towards the ceiling. By using this trick, you can delay your takeoff to the last possible second. And I don't know if I should be saying this on video, but this is the secret for how I dust everybody in Diamond and Champ. I don't know if that's really a flex, but try it and you'll see why this works. Okay, finally, on to mistake number six, not boost throughout. The problem I see far too many people make in Plat, Diamond, and Champ is they're indecisive. And because they're indecisive, they slow down, they hesitate, and a lot of times people don't boost when they should. So if you are fast airling for a ball, remember this, you're either 100% in or 100% out, which means unless you're going for some like soft first touch into an air dribble or something, if you're trying to hit the ball hard or beat your opponent, you need to boost throughout the fast aerial. From the moment you take off to honestly half a second after you connect with the ball to make sure you boost through it. Make sure you're boosting throughout the fast aerial, follow through your shots, and you're gonna shoot the ball three times as fast as the average player. Okay, six mistakes covered. Also, if you skipped here from the start of the video and you didn't watch the mistakes, I forgive you, but um, I do feel a little bit used. I'm not gonna ask you to subscribe, but maybe join the Discord, huh? Side note, if you haven't joined the Discord, but you're subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? The Discord gives you way more stuff than subscribing does, and joining the Discord is completely free. So if you want teammates or free training resources, you should join the over 50,000 people in the Discord. I'll have it first link below. Click the link, watch the video, join up, and I'll see you on the other side. But okay, correct order for how to fast aerial. There are sort of three parts, eight steps. Okay, part one, prep. First thing you do is before you take off, pull your joystick down and start boosting. Second part of the prep step, jump and hold it down for one fifth of a second. So you're climbing through the air, maxing out your first jump. Now on to part two. After one fifth of a second, release your joystick. So that way you can use your second jump. You don't have to hold this one down. You can just tap it to get the max height now. So jump times two and make sure you're holding boost throughout. Now, finally, onto part three, the finish of the fast aerial. Start pulling your joystick down again to finish lifting your nose and climbing to the ceiling and continue to hold boost throughout. Cool. That was how to fast aerial in under eight minutes. The raw file here is 18 minutes. Camille, the video guy, help me out. Hopefully we'll make this less than eight minutes. If you're still watching, go click on the speed run to Grand Champ video to see how you can actually use this in game to dust champ twos. Click the video here and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching, guys.